Yo, what is up guys? If you guys are watching this video, then you are looking up the same exact thing that I looked up and I couldn't find anything about whenever I was looking at it. So by first glance, you're probably looking at it and you're like, dude, this is a really nice Grom. This is a great, nice looking Grom, right? If you guys get closer, you guys can clearly see that it is not a Grom. It is an X-Pro. It is a Chinese knockoff. Is it worth it? What is up? That brings me to the channel. I'm also doing this channel with my friend who actually bought one as well. He actually bought an Ice Bear for wear, so, but he bought it off of Venom Motorsports, so it's called like an X19R or something like that. And I really wanted to make the video whenever I got it, but of course I forgot and I still haven't made a video and now I have about 30 miles on it and I'm definitely making a video about it right now because I could not find any actual really good videos on it and so I just want to talk about it, get started on it, and is it worth it? First thing I wanted to talk about was actually quality. Everybody always talks about how these plastics are crap and how they're like not good. I've already taken these off. This whole entire bike has been naked already twice and I actually have redone the carburetor because the carburetor that comes on them is junk and I don't know if you can see that carburetor. You guys can clearly see that right here. I have it a little like skimmy rigged as of right now but uh if you guys keep on looking up i got this right here and i took out the air box I actually have everything right here this is actually the exhaust thing but this is the old carburetor and this is the old like restrictors basically that come on the bike and uh that all basically just slows down the bike and restricts it from how fast it can actually go it's just crap for california basically it actually has a really 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 cool looking front line and it actually is very very similar to the grom but those uh we actually did do a test of these and they do suck at night it's basically like if you were holding a flashlight and you were walking down a street if that makes sense so you have about five feet ten feet maybe of actual where you can see and then past that point uh, you really can't. Let's look down here. This is uh, right next to the carburetor and this is actually, you know, the motor. Um, the next thing that we're actually doing is we're taking out this sprocket and we're putting in a 17 tooth sprocket and we're also putting in a new chain. I've been having this clack on me lately. Um, you can hear it whenever it moves. I'm actually probably going to grease it and all that good stuff. Uh, considering I already actually did that mod, I haven't rejetted the carb. I haven't put in a different jet on the carb. So as of right now, this is what it sounds like whenever it idles and it does idle very high. I already know. Please don't comment down below telling me that oh your bike's idling high it's not supposed to be doing that i know so um all right so it also hasn't been started in a couple of days but of course here i'll kick it into first real quick Okay, but other than that, I basically took off the air box. We put on the new air filter. As you guys can clearly see, I have these gold bars instead of the normal ones because the stock ones are absolute crap. I'm also about to get rid of this, um, this clutch cable and get a different clutch cable. I heard that actually like specific gold wing clutch cables work better. So I'm going to hopefully get that and hopefully it shifts better. Top speed on these are actually told 55 plus depending on your weights depending on your load whatever you really want to call it but you're also not supposed to actually put that many uh you're not supposed to go that fast within like the first i think 160 miles or something like that and then you're supposed to give it an oil change right after so now dude you're so annoying quit talking is it worth it what did I pay for this? So there are places you can buy these for like $900 shipped to your door, $1,100 shipped to your door. I never really trusted any of those sites. I bought this is off of off of Amazon. It's for it's the X Pro. It's the 125 CC Vader, and they're actually unavailable, and they don't know if they're going to be coming back in stock as of right now. But I think that I actually did get something that was worth it. So completely stock, no matter how crap you think it is, these regardless are gonna be a lot of work. So if you're looking to buy something that you just wanna kinda like hop on and ride and not have any problems, this is something that you're probably not going to want to get. And I realized that the hard way. I didn't really like actually think about it until I got it. I have learned to love this thing up and down. I've only taken it 30 miles and I absolutely love it. Other than the fact that this thing is a vibrating machine. So the very first thing you need to do if you do order these is tighten every Everything. That is what I am doing tomorrow and I'm loctiting everything that needs to be loctite and check your engine bolts and make sure that you get grade 8 bolts and good bolts that actually need to go in there for your motor mounts or your engine mounts and that will really help you go a long way because they will vibrate and you will not see the break of where it's at and it will just be it'll just be broken in a spot that you can't see so and that's just not good. I paid fifteen hundred and ninety eight dollars for this to be shipped to my door expensive yes where was it from 
Amazon because I actually trusted Amazon with my order and I trusted that if anything went wrong with the bike Amazon would handle it Amazon would cover me or they would have something that would help me out The bike actually took a solid one to two weeks to get here And I'm actually not mad about that because I mean the very first time that I bought it I actually got stopped for fraud because I've never bought anything that expensive on Amazon But then after the two or three days that I got it figured out I then repurchased it on my parents account and it got shipped to my house within like I would say like a week and a half now so far the only thing that I have done like I said is that really that that carburetor really that's really all I've done actually like performance wise and that would just like open it up just a little bit so it's not so freaking restricted like I said and I've gotten the bike up to about 57 and I'm honestly I'm almost positive I have an app on my phone and I checked it I'm about two to three mile per hour fast on my speedometer So I was actually going about probably about 55 or a 54 and I wasn't really actually supposed to be going that but I mean You know, I just really didn't really care overall I made this channel to basically put mods and do everything on these on both of our bikes uh, He lives over there Oh, well, he actually doesn't live over there. Both of our parents live here, and we just keep our bikes at our parents' house because where we live, we don't really have, like, a good, good garage. But anyway, so we're basically going to be working on these. I'm getting a GoPro today as soon as I'm done filming this, and I'm going to be getting it for my helmet, and we're going to be doing vlogs, and we're going to be getting our license and tags and all that really good soon. I'm sure that if you guys want to actually see these videos, it's going to be one video a week of an update or something that's going on with the bike or just an update on the bike or what's going on with the bike, and if you guys have any questions, this is basically going to be a page where we help each other out, and we, you know, just talk about our clones and stuff like that of course if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to please like and subscribe for new content and make sure to please be over here and ready for the ride uh, make sure to please have notifications on so you guys are notified every single time we post and if you guys want to know anything about the clone just make sure to comment it down below i'm actually in three clone forums so i know somewhat some things about clones and i've been asking a lot about working on them and stuff like that and me and my cousin have some mods that we're going to be doing really soon so make sure to please be ready for that